kind words. Now may I request our chief guest, Dr. Deepak Deshpande sir, to shower his words of wisdom upon us. Thank you. 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 Everybody. Except that he was not taking any credit. I think that is a hallmark of uh, a person like that. And I, I tell you, this is this is not because he is there sitting amidst us. So often we don't realize in life the good things we are surrounded and we fail to acknowledge. It's, it only dawns to us later that I should have said this before. I should have realized it. That's so. I think that is my first. This is to all students. I know there are very uh, accomplished people here. But pardon me, I am when I am sitting here, I am told there are about 2,500 students listening to me. And I must acknowledge all those who are outside of this auditorium listening to me. And I, I miss your physical presence. I just saw Dr. Sony showed me the live streaming. And uh, I don't want to miss, miss this opportunity to connect with everyone outside and in the hall. I... I sympathize with all the six to seven rows here sitting here, those sitting in the first seven rows, because they have to be attentive. <laughs> because we were told uh, our chairman is very, very punctual, very disciplinary, and we've got to be there by you know, the time. We've got to be like this. I was asking Dr. Sony, how come? I've never seen this kind of you know, presentation ceremony, you know, people walking with two in a very disciplined fashion, with so much of grace, one carrying that stuff, other handing over, and then people coming in. Amazing. I must uh, acknowledge uh, the gentleman there, I think, uh, Chetan Jishet and the team for training the students. <laughs> and they worked with so much grace. And first, uh, 15, 20 odd uh, prizes I gave away. Then I said, every time I'm seeing a new boy and a new girl, oh my God. I thought that was a great example of engaging people. And believe you me, the same set of two, three people coming and going does not really create. You know, engage everybody. There's so much, so much you can create that energy and enthusiasm. It was much, much later I saw two, three girls and boys repeated. Otherwise, I saw all new faces. And as I saw good things happening, I got more, more, more and more and more nervous. You have seen me going for a bio break. As I enter into that room, that room is filled with about 35 odd students. And through them I have to pass to the toilet. I come out, they're still there in the room. Come on guys, you can laugh. <laughs> So thank you, Jisset and Nascom for having me here. I have a couple of things to share with you because I think life is beautiful. And today you took me back to my childhood. Everything that I learned, I saw, I remember, I lived. Everything that inspired, motivated me, lives with me today. It's been a long journey, but it looks like as if it's yesterday. I think all the good things that we learn as a child, be at home or in school or in college, they all are with us, always. And if you can bring back those memories, the child, the innocence that you were, things that really appealed to you and you grew up with, which disappear as time passes by because of the you know, realities of life, Somewhere you tend to lose yourself or you become a different person. But if you stick to those values, those ideals as a child you grew up with, something that really made you what you are, that is the time when you will never, never be a day where you will fail. Because as, as a child, we have... I, idealized our parents, our elders, our teachers, our, you know, all the seniors. And those values which we, if we can't live, I think that's, that's, a, that's a life not lived. So often we run after so many things, searching for new things, searching for new meanings, 
but everything is here and we fail to introspect, we fail to dig, we fail to discover. Everything is within us. The, the more you know about yourself, the more you will know about the world. So, 1945, right, this trust was formed, 49 institutions. I mean, just to imagine the amount of effort and sacrifice that has gone beyond, behind creating such a wonderful institution. If you meet something called excellence, you will feel the power of passion, which I can really relate. If you see a beautiful movie, how it creates so much of emotion. If you listen to a wonderful piece of music, you get carried away and lost in an imaginary world, so much so that you want to do something. If you read a good article, an inspiring story, first time, you say, wow. Then second time, you'll find something new. Third time, you find some more different meaning. Fourth, fifth time, every time you read, you interpret differently, find different, different, different and deeper meanings. There may be people here who might have watched, I know surely it's a whole story because everybody is young here. Kuch Kuch Hota Hai probably people may have seen many a times. Some of the movies they may have seen many a times. Every time you see the same movie again and again and again, because you like it, you will find more and more and more and more meaning. When it can happen to a movie or in a book, which you repeatedly see or read, you discover different meanings. Why do we fail to see in ourselves? Read our, the book of our life. You are the author. Think about it. So as growing, wonderful citizens of... I forgot to mention, those sitting in the back, 10, 15 rows are lucky, I envy you guys. You can look at each other, smile, not listen. Do whatever you want. Get away with it. Okay. So, think about that. This is the book of your life. You are the author. And you are the reader. If you fail to read it, you know what you're going to lose. So never ever take it for granted. This life is not come to us easily. It's not just because a man and a woman came together. There is a reason behind it and you are privileged to be in this world. Privileged to have all the sense of the sense of organs working fine. Privileged to walk, talk, see, speak, feel. Try spending a day with somebody who can't talk, somebody who can't see, somebody who doesn't have to eat anything to eat. Try to spend one hour with that person. You will know how lucky we are. We should not let this opportunity go God has given to us called life. Can you become somebody? who can support such people, not I'm talking about them, anybody, people around you, what? Just like you have everything working. Do to others. I, believe, I heard that wonderful things this institution does, whether it, it comes in terms of environment, for the underprivileged, for the society, lot of good work that happens. I was shocked to hear that every year the management gives roughly or a little more than 50 lakh rupees just for academic excellence in terms of scholarships. This is the first private institution self-funding in the state. How lucky can we get? I think this is awesome. Okay. So 
So there you are. I heard the first definition. I love that prayer song. I love music. So the, the, when they started singing and this percussions, the tabla was going on, the singers were doing fine. I just got lost. I was moving my fingers in the air and playing the tabla to the beat just to see am I able to bind automatically it comes. I really thank for that wonderful troop. Can you clap for that? <laughs> Professor Bulsa, I think Dr. Bulsa and the team. Wonderful job they've done. It's a divine, music is divine. You must get lost in it because you don't get lost as in lost. Lost to discover yourself. A thing of beauty, joy forever, somebody said here, which is so too very true. Excellent. So I heard the definition of leader. I think there are these two wonderful people sitting there, right? Definition of a leader who the compares. If you can inspire people to do more, achieve more, promise more, deliver more, then you are a leader. Okay. All I'm asking you. You don't, have, you don't have to have a team to become a leader. You are the team. Can you be the leader of your team? Can you inspire yourself to do more, achieve more, grow more, be more? Don't wait for one day I will finish my engineering or MBA and become a manager or CEO of a company, then I'll behave like a leader. Okay. Take it all the time. But even while doing that, can you be a leader? Answer is yes. Should you be a leader? Of course, yes. Can you? Absolutely, you can. Why not? I was so scared of my teachers. I was scared of my father, actually, because he was a very tough guy. He used to just give us. You know, I come from a small village. <laughs> would just beat us black and blue. So, so Maharaj ka pichha would galat kam nahi kar sakta. In a just village of about 200 people, 300 people. So his fear made his study. And those days, 60% was the highest you could aspire. So I said, okay, we can manage 55, 60 mila, so take life. So with that, with that fear, you got to study. But a wonderful thing happened. In third class, uh, we went out to play in the ground, and then it started suddenly raining. Those days, we, I used to study in mission school, you know. It's a big campus, 100 acres, and the classroom kahi hai, playground kahi hai. So you go to the playground, suddenly starts raining. You can't run back to the class because too far, you get wet. So our teacher said, stand under a tree and just wait for the rain to go. It would never. The PT, PT sir said, okay, let's do something, keep everybody engaged. So, when my turn came, I was told, you must sing. Third class. Never in life I have sung. And no choice than to sing something. And to my good luck or bad luck, I saw some, I sang one song which turned out to be good. That day, label was put here, gata hai, sir. I didn't know what happened. So every time some teacher came late and didn't come, then said, Chalo. Sir, ye gata hai. So all that happened every class till I finished my 10th, that gata hai label really stuck to me. But as in more and more people came to know about me, I sing, then I had to do well because more people to kisi ko pata nahi tha. Kone deepak. Fail ho ya pass ho, kisi ko pata nahi hai, but abhi sabko pata lagega. That fear of people knowing that you will you have failed or you have got less marks really haunted me. I started doing well in studies more than before. I continued my singing. Oh, life me chari gaane life me. School me ek chari chari gaane uspe bara school nikhe. Because now you are studying well, people know you sing. Then there was elocution competition or yeah. You can speak English, so go and participate in debating competition. So stage fear was not there, so go and start 
taking part, you get some prizes. अरे education मिला तो SMA भी करते हैं यार ये तो पीछे बैठ के लिखना है. So SMA भी prize मिला. All that happened, then we said okay, you can do all this, but you are not doing anything in the ground on the ground. So football भी खेलो. You know what I mean? You have to look into you. What is good about me? What is that comes to me? What drives me? What I am passionate about? Take that as a hobby. Start doing well. It will motivate you, encourage you to do. Not everybody is lucky to get in life to do the job they like, right? So, do your work, pursue your hobby. Do your work, pursue your hobby. The real magic happens when you start loving your job, because now. The moment you start loving your job, you stop working, you start doing what you love. But then you start performing well in the job as well. So ideas to say friends, it's not the story is not about me. Just to give an example that all of us have innate gift given by the Almighty. You have to see what is good in me. Can I write something? Can I read something? Can I do this? Or can I do that? Right? Give your time because that will nurture your heart and soul. That will make you do better, become better person, better performer, better ABC. Okay, so this is not to all accomplished people. I am not talking to them. I am talking to two thousand four hundred people, children here. Okay, fine. So I came across a wonderful anecdote, a probably story called, uh, which Zen described about life. Or about work. Four things he said. Life is a quest. Quest is you know discovery. Life is a quest. So you can replace life with work. Work is quest. Relationship is a quest. Like that. You got get me what I'm saying? So life is a quest. You can replace for students. They can say college is a quest. Studies are a quest. Teacher is a quest, or exam is a quest. Anything. Life is a quest. Quest is what a discovery. So you take sometimes life as if it is a quest. It's a process of discovery. You don't know. Do find out, discover. You become. Right. Suppose I don't know. I never been to Anand before. The first pen friend I had was from Anand. I was telling Dr. Chetan. I heard this place somewhere named Anand Sulaiman. Amul ka baato kare. Then I said I had a friend. First pen friend, those times you know pen friends, you have not met the person like your Facebook. Those days it used to be pen friends. Postcard me letter likhna hai, England letter likhna hai. Don't know the person, just know people want to become friend. You write to that person. I never met that girl anyway. Haso ya. Okay. That was from this place. So how do I go? Okay, come take. A, I have Discord. Wow. Discord as a process of discovery. So life is a quest. Never be afraid of anything, doing anything new, because take it as discovery. Why do people climb mountains? Why do they take all the adventure risk? I asked. I had a roommate in Hyderabad who used to have this fascination for climbing mountains, hills, and doing all sorts of things so dangerous to life. I asked him, "Why are you doing that? Your parents are so worried." He said, "No, I get life in kick. I am able to beat the nature." So never be afraid of doing anything new. Take it as a quest. Second, life is a game. Like you know, play games. You play game for enjoyment. It gives you some thrill and joy. So there's no fear of failure. There's no fear of losing. You just play for the sake of sportsman spirit. You develop teaming. You develop leadership. You develop. You know what I mean? Going that adrenaline rush, feeling that experience that you get. So take life as a game. Don't mind losing. You may fail. Don't mind, you know, getting humiliated or something. Just go and play and enjoy. So don't take everything in life so seriously that you take out the fun of living. Take again. Life is a battle. If it's a battle, you you be better prepared. You can't take it easily. You prepare. You slog. You should know. If I'm going on the war front. I cannot say I have that courage. I'll fight with you. Come on, give all those dialogue that you see in Hindi movies. No, but our dialogue more okay. आपके पास हथियारी नहीं है. आप खड़े हैं, then you are talking like you know all those. Will it work, friends? You'll come like Akshay Kumar and shoot him and go. 
You got to be prepared. You have to have the, all the skills and the weapons and the tricks and the train and everything. So life is a battle. Hard work, you have to prepare. Don't go unprepared. Therefore, this is a preparation, preparation, preparation. It's not called entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. Okay, and finally, life is a school. Be humble, be open-minded. There's always there to learn, something or other to learn, unlearn. Don't be like a closed umbrella. Keep your mind little open. It is only when it is open it works. Umbrella is useful only when it opens. Head also, put a jaga rakho. Keep something little space for it to absorb things. So life is a quest, life is a game, life is a battle and life is a school. No matter what you become, no matter what you do, no matter what you achieve, you will always come back to school. That is the beauty of life. The day we realize that it's all a circle, come back home. Everything in life, friends, you come back home. There is so much joy. You don't the day you realize so we are connected to these things in life which we never paid attention and one fine day occurs to you, oh God. That is the day you feel oh God. Too late. I have been very surprised. I used to read, I am more of a, read a lot of those movies and YouTubes and all that. I used to watch a lot of inter interviews. That is, I, I listened to all interviews of successful people. Big Shah Rukh, Salman, Deepak Chopra, you name anybody who is somebody on that TV, you know, usme kuch hai. So I used to, I had read about this actor, Dharman. Every time he used to, he is very emotional, he used to cry. Kuch bhi dekho, hase, roega. You know, something like that. So in the beauty of any beautiful thing that you listen, music or acting or scene or movie or article, suddenly, you know, gana sunte sunte pani asu. Why? Think about it. Because you're so moved by it. It connects you somewhere. So let's live that. Lost opportunities. Okay. That's, so Zen thing, I would request you to remember. And also remember, you are your first customer. We often say your customer is the king. Who is the customer? You are your first customer. Not because institute may to hai, students are the first customer. Right? They are the first customer. Who is the customer of a student? Faculty. Yes or no? They have to do well. Keep them happy. Keep them motivated so that they can give them more. So look as an individual. This is you, your office, your organization. Who is your first customer? You yourself. Who will stop him from achieving more? You yourself. Who can give him more? You yourself. So the day you attribute, I don't get good marks because this faculty doesn't like me. Or he prefers A, B, C, D. Or he blah, blah, blah. It is your mind. Mehnat aapko karni hai. But we are making him the hero until he is stopping me from doing it, does not treat me well, he discriminates. Jan Rushke tough question diya, fala fala kiya, ye kiya, dos log ne aisa kiya, teacher ne aisa kiya. No. Just ignore all that. Just focus. You are the first customer. You change the way you look at looking at things, interpreting things. So please remember you are your first customer and try to you know, do what is required at this point in time. Because the ultimate reality in life, there is a parable in Africa. Every morning, a gazelle, gazelle means deer. Every morning, a gazelle wakes up in Africa, forest of Africa. A deer wakes up. What is it thinking? Oh my God, I got to run faster. 
If I don't run faster, the lion is going to kill me. That is its fear. In the same forest, same Africa, a lion also wakes up in the morning. What it is saying? Oh God, I've got to run faster than the deer, otherwise I will die hungry. You see, it doesn't matter whether you are a deer or a lion. You've got to run. So better start, prepare. Maintaining success is not easy. Getting success maybe. You can be lucky. Maintaining is not easy. Got to run, whether you are a lion or a deer. And I think sir. Okay, oh. So a few things I'll quickly rush. The power of belief. I'll just make a passing reference because this is very important. We got to believe in ourselves. If you believe, only then you will realize your potential. Just imagine five cups. Five cups or five glasses. Put on steps, one after another. Okay? The first one after another such a way that if this is full, when it is full, this will pour into this. When this is full, it will pour into the next one. So there are five cups. First cup is a cup of belief. When you believe totally yourself and the cup is full, what will happen? It will pour. It will pour into the next cup. Next cup is called the cup of potential. When you believe, you realize your potential. When the cup of potential is full, it will fall into the cup of action. When the cup of action is full, it will flow into the cup of result. When the cup of result is full, it will flow into the cup of life. Cup of belief, cup of potential, cup of action, cup of result and cup of life. Cup of life is the bottom. So if my question is, is the cup of your life full? Means are you happy with your life? Satisfied with your life? Yes. Mm, thoda. No, go back. Why? Results ke saath mein I am not happy. Why? My actions. What actions? Why actions? I thought I had this potential. Wo kahan se aaya? From belief. So correct your belief system. So you can come like this, go back. Come like this, go back. Just remember that. Okay. And finally, few words again for my young friends here. An attitude of gratitude is the best. Attitude. Never ever take pride in whatever you become or achieve. You cannot achieve it all alone. Always thank people. Be grateful to the world and the nature and people around. This institution has not become what it has without the blood and the sweat of all the people who made this happen under this wonderful person who is here. I'm sure he must be feeling every time wanting to thank you for giving him this wonderful cooperation and support, creating something which is going to live for years and centuries and on his behalf. I would like to narrate a few songs, one song, few lines. And this is for all the staff, faculty, teaching, non-teaching students and everybody who has been a well-wisher here and outside. I am sure his heart must be saying this. Hame jo tumhara sahara na milta bhavar mein rehte kinara na milta Hame jo tumhara sahara na milta bhavar mein rehte kinara na milta किनारे पे भी तो लहर दाट होती अगर तुम न होते अगर तुम न होते हमें और जीने की चाहत 
न होती अगर तुम न होते अगर तुम न होते थैंक यू एंड हैप्पी बर्थडे टू यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच वन वर्ल्ड वॉक